What's up everybody, it's Bloodshed Romance, and this time I've got a fully functional E07K. Let's try this again. So that's right guys, I've got an EO7K. This time it's fully functional. Both of the outputs are both outputting in stereo and I no longer have any of that nonsense mono crap. Um, I ended up just buying a brand new one off of Amazon and had it shipped to me. Um, I will be returning the broken unit and uh, I'm really glad. I, this, this actually made me happy that I actually got a good one and I didn't get a couple of bad ones. If I got a couple of bad ones, I probably would have just given up and contacted Amazon and been like, hey, you need to check these out because these are apparently a recurring issue. But I got a brand new one, new in box, sealed. I opened it, cracked it open, plugged my headphones in, and was seriously, seriously pleased. Um, I was playing with E09K with all my headphones and stuff, and it was actually performing really great. Um, so I was do doing some testing with it, and it's got two outf outputs on it, so I was kind of worried about that part. I, I couldn't test it last time, so I didn't want to mention it. Um... When you plug in two headphones, I was almost wondering if um, you'd actually have to put more power so it turn the volume up. You actually don't. Uh, if you plug in two different headphones, even if they're two different types, like I have the Razer Kraken Pro and the Razer Caracas right here, and I've tried both of them, um, it output both of them fine. Like I didn't. You plug one in while you're listening to like the Kraken, for instance, and the volume doesn't change. I was almost worried that if you were to plug in a second set of headphones that you would get interference, like not interference, but like it would make the volume cut down and you'd have to crank up the amplifier on it. But you didn't have to do that. It actually outputs to both of them simultaneously at the same time. Uh, it's great, actually. I did notice a few things. The Razer Kraken Pro is a lot more sensitive than the Razer Kerkis. Um, I have the Razer Kerkis, the 3.5 millimeter strictly only version, no USB, but Razer has the USB version on their site. So I was gonna go ahead and show you some specs on these. Um, the Razer Caracas actually has an input power of 200 milliwatts, and it's still 32 ohm impedance, and the sensitivity of it is actually uh, 102 plus or minus 4 decibels at 1K hertz. The Razer Kraken, however, is once again 32 ohm impedance, and the input power is 50 milliwatts. That's really, really interesting to me. I actually didn't know that. Um, the difference of them is like 150 milliwatts, and the... E07K actually only outputs like 220 and 250 depending on the impedance. So I'm almost wondering if this is going to work with the AKG K7XX, which I happen to have right here still in box. Um, on the back of this, these are 62 ohm impedance, so they're 30 extra ohms of impedance, and they have a 105 decibel sensitivity. So it's actually about in between it because the Razer Kraken actually has a 110 decibel sensitivity range. Um, the higher that number, the actual, the less power it's going to take for you to notice a change in volume. Um, that was actually really interesting to me because at about 35 on the E07K with the Razer Kraken Pro, that was about as loud as I wanted to go with it. Like anything more than that, and it's just, you're, you're literally just like cranking it to a volume that you don't want to have to listen to all the time. It's uncomfortable, I guess you could say. Um, the Razer Caracas, however, I had to push these up to like 45. No gain. I turned the gain off. It came stock on a gain of 6, but I cut the gain off almost instantly. Um, the Razer Caracas here, though, they take like 45 to get about the same level. And these actually have a lot flatter of a frequency curve. I actually don't know the frequency ranges on these, but the Razer Kraken has a lot more bass. And it's got less input power, so that's actually really, really interesting. Um, the K7XX here are he reference headphones, so they have a mostly flat, what they call flat, frequency range. But this actually have the K7XX has a 3 dB boost in the low end. So I'll be interested to crack that open and hear it. Um, but yeah, I found that really interesting. If you plug in two sets of headphones, it still outputs the same power, so you don't hear a drop in volume when you are listening to one and plug in another. But these take a lot less power. So when you're buying headphones, that's something to look out for, apparently. I didn't actually know that. Um, I guess it's because the Razer Caracas isn't really made for phones. I mean, I've used these on my phone before, and they sound fine. I guess I did notice at some point that they didn't get as loud, but it never really hit me that that was why. 
that these have actually less sensitivity and they take more power. Phones probably don't output that much. I don't know. You're, uh, probably each phone differs, differs. So, like, the OnePlus One and the HTC One M8 are going to have two different output powers, especially the HT, uh, HTC One M8 Harman Carmen. Um, actually, these AKGs here have by Harman on them. So I don't know if that's the same Harman Kardon as the HTC stuff, but I've never actually owned an HTC phone anyway, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um... But yeah, this thing is actually really, really cool. The equalizer on it, I'm really going to state here now that I believe it's a hardware EQ. The only way it would actually be software is if it was coming from your phone or something, and it doesn't sound like it. Because if you do a fake EQ, you'll definitely be able to tell. And this, you can't. It's really, really cool. The um, Caracas here needs it, at least for me. These are more of a flat frequency response, and I, it's cool to listen to, but not for music. Like, this, these are gaming headphones, like what Razer would really classify as gaming headphones. The Razer Kraken Pro, I actually love them for music. They're great. But the Caracas, their frequency response needs a little bit of EQ for me. For music, at least. For gaming, they're still great. I love them. Um, I guess that's why audiophiles have stacks and stacks of headphones, because these numbers, like the sensitivity and the drivers, I mean, the drivers of the... Um, Drivers of the Caracas are 40 millimeter with neoden neodymium magnets, and the Car uh, Kraken are 40 millimeter, but they sound totally different. Like if you listen to both of them at the same time, you'll definitely notice the Kraken Pro A is more sensitive to volume changes, and B has a lot more bass. I actually like that because A, if you're playing games, the freaking explosions sound absolutely amazing. Um, I haven't tried. I haven't tried the K7XX. They're still in the box, so I won't be able to tell um, anything about those yet. But I will be going over how they work with the easier the easier 7K and 9K separately in the uh, review of them. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed. Um, but yeah, that's actually really really interesting. I didn't know that because I never sat down with a dedicated amp or DAC and sat there and listened to them. Um, Neither of them are going to do anything magic, like, in headphone-wise, of getting rid of electrical noise or anything. So, go ahead and not, don't even think that your headphones are what's causing the pickup of that. It's all based on the DAC, which is why the E07K, as a DAC, is a really, really good DAC. Like, there's, even on this one, the mono one I had didn't have any issues with any, like, electrical noise. But this one, it's, I almost say it's even cleaner. Just because it's not doing a mono split, and there it goes, I tried to drop it already. Uh, screen didn't break, so that's a good thing. <laughs> um, but with the uh, with an external DAC, you don't have to worry about any of that electrical crap. And I've actually completely forgot where I was going with that. But anyway, the point is, the E07K does its job, and it does it very well. I can still highly recommend it, as long as you get a good one. If you get a bad one, just send it back like I did. It's fine. Um... The Razer Kraken Pro, again, takes, like, up to 35 on this thing, and it's about uncomfortable with no gain. Um, the Caracas take up to 45. I didn't actually try the Caracas much in the E09 k but it's about the same. I mean, all the uh, E09 k really does for me right now is act as a dock to charge it and has a cleaner way to get to the computer. I don't really need it, but I like the knob on it, and I like the fact that it charges it. And um, also, another thing I found out... If you were interested in using this as the dock, if you turn the hold switch on, the screen cuts off. So if you were wanting to use it on the dock, you don't actually need the screen on. You don't have to actually go in the menu every time and um, cut the display off with the timer. So let me know if uh, this helps you out, guys. If uh, this gave me, if it gave you any good information. Um, I don't have a really good way other than telling you to put your freaking head on a pair of headphones to tell what exactly I'm talking about, but I'm trying to convey it to you the best I can that the Kraken Pro takes 50 milliwatts. I didn't actually know that. Like these are a lot take a lot less power to drive, yet they're still 40 millimeter drivers. I don't I can't explain to you why that is. I can't explain to you what magic they're doing to make them that way, but they're great. I can Seriously, seriously recommend that the Razer Kraken Pro are really good headphones. The microphone on it is, it's like a gaming microphone. I mean, it retracts out. I didn't actually do a review on the Kraken Pro because they're Kraken Pro. I'm sure you can find plenty of reviews for them and I couldn't contri contribute any. But 
the Caracas are still really good too. These are lighter, and um, the foam on them are a little bit different. So, I mean, all of those little features and factors will make the sound sound completely different. <laughs> sound sound completely different, yeah. Anyway, thanks for checking this out, guys. The E07K is trying to drop it again. I put a screen protector on it. I did. I did do that, but. That's the easier 7K, guys. I thank you for checking this out. Make sure you're subscribed for the K7XX coming soon. And I'll catch you next time. Peace. Enjoy, he enjoy listening to headphones. Later.